hello guys um sorry about the background no noise if, if there is any because my keyboard is somehow really loud um uh not in real life but the microphone actually picks it up which is really annoying but um anyways it also picks up my mouse anyways guys this is the only well maybe there is other tutorials but this is one of the only tutorials um, on how to inst how to make a 1.10.2 bucket server or spigot server, whatever you want to call it. And um, so, uh, <coughs> so um, yeah. So the first thing you have to do is to go to this website. Uh, all links will be in the description. And yeah, so it's. Mine, Minecraft statistics and it's got every version bucket, spigot, and craft bucket. You are looking for craft bucket, um, but um, spigot is also good. Um, but right now, I'm using craft bucket uh, because you know it's easier. So once it, it's downloading now, now then we have to go to this page wiki.bucket.org setting up a server. And uh, this looks like this looks like the Minecraft forums, but it's, it's powered by the same thing. But you know, it's not the same. So um, thing. So uh, this is Windows, Linux, and Mac. Uh, I think Linux and Mac are very similar, uh, while Windows is a completely different code. Um, so what you have to do is you got to go copy this. Thing right here. Um, yes, yeah, so you press copy, and now this should be here. This craft bucket thing should be here, and uh, yeah, here's a craft bucket thing. Now, what you have to do is you have to go to new folder and just call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it, you know, test server because oh, I named that wrong. Uh, test server because obviously I don't want to name it server because I already have one. Um, anyways, drag your craft bucket in there. And what you have to do now is open this uh, and uh, don't open, do not, whatever you do, do not open the craft bucket server. You want to go to new text document and you want to name it run. Um, now open it and paste the, the thing in. Now, just saying, if you did copy the pause, then you're wrong. Anyways, f and then you go file, save as, into the into the server file, into the folder you created, and you want to go run dot bat. Then you do here, and you scroll up to all types, and then you press save. Um, this is for. Um, <coughs> This is for pay, uh, um, Notepad++, but for normal Notepad, it is all f files instead of all types. And then you just press save. You can close this. Now, there should be a run thing here. You want to delete this Notepad thing, and you want then you want to open this run folder. Now, it will open and close again because... Well, it won't open and close again. If you know why, it's because I have this thing here. But it shouldn't do it for you. If it does, then I'll show you a different method, which... No, not a whole different method. It's just a different thing you can do. You just open this craft bucket thing. Alright? And it should have the logs, the ELA, and the thing. Then you want to rename this just to craft bucket and then you press enter then you go to the ULR and here the ULR is false you want to go, uh, instead you want to type true no capitals no spaces just type true file save close it up now run here is ready run it and <coughs> it should do that now the reason why it, it closed for me, it shouldn't close for you, 
but the reason why it closed for me is because this is here. I'm just gonna stop my actual server and just open the run here. Now then it then it shouldn't do any of that. Okay, there it is. Your server is generating right here and I'm gonna open my NVIDIA processor. Um, all right, so 1.8.9, oh wait, I gotta go to 10. And uh, yeah, so right now it's finished. So it's still running, but it's done. And now you can op yourself, so you go op, and then your name. My name is Igario Teams. Yep. Okay, now I'm gonna play. <coughs> okay. Go. All right. Uh, Mojang, come on. All right. Multiplayer. Uh, okay. Add server. Now what you have to do to join your server is local host. Um, and done. Then it should pop up a Minecraft server because you haven't edited anything. Alright, log in and here it is guys, your server. Now to get plug to install plugins, what you have to do is just go to the plugin thing. So I'm just gonna go, you know, essentials. And this is latest uh, essentials plugin plugin bucket. And now you should have essentials essentials uh, pre releases. Uh, <coughs> um, nope. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, GitHub source and then dev builds. Oh, all right. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys. So what you have to do is download the file, and it should be a jar .jar file. And then you have a plugins folder here. You open the plugins folder and you drag it in. And then once you've done that just type in reload on your console and it's reloaded and uh, should be done and yeah guys uh, there's your server and uh, yeah, um, it should be installed yeah so hope this was helpful for you guys uh, might not have been but you know thank you for listening and see you later